quick video for you here. On the bench is the JAT501 amplifier. It's the first board that was submitted. I'm kind of using it to perform a test. Somebody said something, oh, you should never mount your board like that on a heat sink. So it's flat on the heat sink because it'll get hot and damage solder joints and uh, overheat the capacitors. They'll have a short life. And I'm going to prove why that is false. That is not a problem. So I have the amplifier on a heat sink playing a uh, 1 kilohertz tone into the resistor bank here, power supply hooked up and everything. It's been running for around 45 minutes. And when you design an amplifier, you want to design it so the heat sink does not exceed 60 degrees Celsius. And they say that's, uh, yeah, you can hold it. It's getting pretty hot. You should be able to put your finger on it for about a second. So let me take a temperature here. And it'll take a while for the meter to catch up. You know, I can't figure out how to set the readout to Celsius. Yeah, I'm sure it's in the manual somewhere. But if I let this on here, it'll come up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is 60 degrees Celsius. But anyway... Like I say, it's been baking here for a while, and I can feel the heat rolling off. And if I touch the capacitors with my... It feels like skin temperature. Like, if I touch my neck, it feels like it's about the same temperature. It's just not that hot. Let's see here. How hot is this thing, this board? It might be hot spots, there's transistors and things. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's around well, body temperature I guess you could say. In uh, some areas it'll be a little hotter elsewhere. Now one thing with these thermometers on this heat sink, not anodized, you cannot get a temperature off of it. It measures almost room temperature because you're measuring the reflection of heat off of this because it's has poor emissivity and they can anodize these which improves it a bit but the main the main way that heat is removed is through convection and you know, not a lot of heat is going to radiate from this heat sink to the board. So it's not going to get that hot. And I'm not helping any either because I got this uh, cardboard here because it's not mounted. And I don't want it to get, you know, pushed and bend the leads of the transistors. I don't have it screwed down to the heat sink. So I'm kind of trapping some heat in there and you know, making it a little difficult. Plus air can't get under as easy but if it's in a case and you have a little bit of room on the top and bottom you can get some airflow through there so it doesn't get hot of course in, when it's in a case you want to ventilate it as well but yeah it's there's no issue of mounting the board like this it's not going to get hot enough to damage the solder joints it's not going to get hot enough to damage the capacitors it's just like I say they're, uh, they're not really warm at all besides that I used uh, capacitors rated 100 degrees Celsius choose long life low ESR ones so yep just want to make this quick video and uh, kind of prove why it's not really an issue of course, you want to mount the board vertically, the fins vertically, so air can pass through those and rise. Now, I see people build amplifiers, and this is mounted sideways or pointing up, where the air can't get through the fins very well. But no, you got to mount it this way. Well, that's it for this. Thanks for watching.